Hey guys, Redstone here, and uh, so we're going to talk about instruction sets. These things are uh, something I've kind of been hinting on throughout these tutorial series videos. Um, and also, I got uh, Microsoft PowerPoint on, so we might be able to see a little bit better performance somehow. Minus these black bars, but those aren't real, so don't worry about that. Um, so an instruction set, what is this? So an instruction set is basically what the computer's language is. Now, ordinarily it would be in machine code and it would be so painful to look through. <laughs> so we're not going to worry about just looking at uh, the ones and zeros and everything. Uh, we're going to worry about the mnemonics. So the, the uh, different instructions. We're just just bear with me, okay? <laughs> okay, so an instruction set can be as simple as this or as complex as this. Um, but I'm going to try to break it down as simple as I can. So, um, what, what, is, what does all this mean? Well, there is a simple way of looking at it. So there's the opcode section. That's the first part of your instruction. So think of it like an internet packet. Um, you have multiple different parts of it. If you don't understand that, I will try to explain this. Uh, then we have our register address um, and then our immediate values. So first of all, I'm going to explain opcodes. So I've made a little uh, pseudo instruction set. So the first one we have add. And the reason you don't see zero is because that would just be null, no instruction. Uh, we have 2, subtract, 3, XOR, 4, and so on and so forth. We have load to register. It, this is basically controlling certain parts of the CPU, just like I mentioned in the, uh, the uh, controller of the CPU, the, the control logic, all that goes in that little box. Um, but this would be decoding it and telling which parts of the CPU to activate at one time. Uh, so the immediate value. Um, it's basically the, the number that the opcode uses, so the number that that instruction requires. So, for example, we have load to accumulator, and then we have um, 532. So that's the number that you're going to load to the accumulator. I uh, hope that makes sense. Uh, and also we have another example, load to register 4, um, you know, jump to line 5. Okay, and we're going to talk a little bit about addressing because I don't know if I really covered that. But here is a little example. So you remember back a few slides back, we had ad we had an address line or an ADDR, whatever they put it. Um, and then we had, you know, we had two address lines. So this would basically be specifying which register you want to write this to. So um, we would first load it to red to the register 23 or more or less this would probably be more in a RAM address but uh, we'd load it to 23 and then we go to the immediate and then we take in this value 434 and we load that in there and of course this would all be in binary but you get the idea um, but yeah, this is it for this video on instruction sets. If you like this video, then go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more, I make videos just like this just about every day. So uh, go ahead and subscribe. But if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comment section. And I will be pleased to answer them. But yeah, bye.